Hello everyone, once again welcome back to the channel. I am Ankit Bansal. Today we are going to discuss a lead code problem, very interesting problem. This is one of the hard problem in lead code. Uh, when I first saw this problem, I thought it is an easy one, a uh, simple aggregation. But later I realized it's a tricky one and so I decided to uh, make a video on it. Before we go to the problem, please do subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. And please do like my videos so that it can reach wider audience. Okay, so let's start. So the problem uh, name is user purchase platform. So uh, what they are saying is there is a e-commerce website, right? L let's Amazon.com. So they have mobile uh, mobile application also and they have website also, right? And this is the spending history of the users. Okay. So user can purchase from the mobile also mobile application and user can purchase from the desktop application also we call it platform mobile platform or desktop platform and we have the spending history for each spend date. So for example on 1st of July 2019 user ID 1 purchased from mobile of amount 100 okay similarly others okay. So what is the question so question is write an SQL query to find the total number of users and the total amount is spent using mobile only. This is very important mobile only desktop only and both mobile and desktop together for each date. So basically what they are saying on each spending date. So we have two dates 1st July and 2nd July, right? This is the output. So what they are saying we have to find users which have purchased only on mobile or only on desktop or of users which have purchased on both the platforms. So let's understand with the 1st July date. So on the 1st July, if you see user ID 11, he purchased on mobile also and desktop also. So this guy will fall into both category. If you see here, we have both. So this guy purchased from both total amount is 200 and how many users are there? One user is there. Because if you see another user on 1st July is user ID 2. He purchased only on mobile platform, right? On 1st of July, there is one other user 3. He purchased only on desktop. So they fall in this category only on desktop and only on mobile. I hope it is clear, right? Now let's see on the 2nd of July. On 2nd of July, there are only two records. So user ID 2 purchased on mobile. And user ID 3 purchased on desktop. But there is no user on 2nd of July which purchased on both the platform mobile and desktop. So for 2nd of July, platform both as zero amount. There was no user. Total users is zero. And on 2nd July, mobile is one user 100 and desktop is one user 100. Okay, so I hope question is clear. Okay, so basically. For each spend date, we should have three rows. One for mobile platform, one for desktop and one for both. Again, for 2nd of July, three rows. So for each spend date, irrespective of from which platform users is buying, we will have three rows, right? So let's start this. So let's move on to our spending. So this is our spending table. Okay. So what we have to do, we have to first find that which users spent only on mobile or only on desktop, right? First we will do that and then we will find out which users have uh, bought on both, right? Mobile also, desktop also. So let's start. So what I'm going to do, select the star from spending. Okay, spend date I will take, comma. I want total amount also. We will come to this later. Let's put the group by condition. Okay, so I will put group by spend underscore date comma user underscore ID. Right. So what I'm going to do for each spend date and user ID, I'm going to check how many distinct platform it has it has done shopping. Right. So I will say having count of distinct platform equal to one. Okay. So this will give me those users 
विच हैव परचेज ओनली ऑन वन प्लेटफॉर्म ऑन ईच स्पेंडेड आइडर ऑन मोबाइल और डेस्कटॉप सो दिस यूजर विल नॉट क्वालिफाई इन दिस कंडीशन बिकॉज फॉर दिस यूजर इफ आई डू ग्रुप बाई ऑन स्पेंड डेट एंड यूजर आई डी एंड डू डिस्टिंग ऑन प्लेटफॉर्म इट विल गिव टू राइट इट विल गिव टू बिकॉज इट हैज डन ऑन बोथ सो वेन आई डू वन इट विल गिव मी ओनली दोज यूजर्स विच हैव परचेज ओनली वंस ओके सो देन आई एम गोइंग टू पुट यूजर अंडर स्कोर आई डी ओके सो इफ यू सी द यूजर वन विल नॉट कम फॉर वन सेवन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन अदर यूजर्स विल कम सो लेट so see user id 1 didn't come because the count of distinct platform would have been 2 so if i put here 2 i get that user right but i need 1 for now okay hope it is clear okay so what i'm going to do i what else i need here sum of amount as amount right now in my output if you see i need platform also right i got to know that this person these users on these spend date have purchased on one platform but which platform so i need platform also in output now in output what i am going to do this is a tricky one i am going to say platform max of platform as platform okay now why i have done max i cannot take platform as it is because platform is not there in my group by condition right if i take platform in my group by condition then this will not make sense count of distinct platform right right because if platform is there then always the count of distinct platform will be one because for mobile platform it will be one for for again desktop it will be one right so i cannot take platform here in group by so i cannot write platform as it is but i know i am taking only those cases where distinct a platform is one so even if i take max it does not make any problem right this is a little tricky just spend some time to understand this i will run this query so i got accept user 1 for 1st july i got all the data right that's what i needed right on first of this user id 2 user id 2 i got uh i mean user id 2 and 3 and user id 2 3 for second so this is this is fine now we will move on to the cases where some user has purchased on both the platforms so i will do union all i will copy it as it is and i will say it is should be equal to 2 right and here what will be the platform i can say both right i need both The platform will be both, right? Here in the output we see both. So I will just go back to the query. So I am going as both sum of amount as amount. Now if I run this query as it is, I got from the first July that user ID has done on both the platform and amount is two hundred. Okay. Hope this is clear. Now what we have to do? We have to simply combine these two results. So i will make it make a city will all spend as this okay select uh spend it what we have in the output we have spend it platform so second is platform comma what else we have we have total amount so i will do sum of amount as total amount okay and what else we need we also need total users so count of distinct user underscore id as total users okay and then i need to do group by from sorry from all spend group by these two columns okay and i will just do a order by also in these two columns
So if I run this now, I got the output. If you see, I got the first five row. We will talk about the sixth row, but for first five row, I got the output. So I have on the first of July, I have uh, the users which which purchased only on mobile application is one user and total amount to be spent 100. Only on desktop, total users one, total amount to spent is 100. On both mobile and desktop, only one user, again, user ID one we saw, total amount is 200. And on 2nd of July, again, one, one user. But there is no user here which which purchased on both the, both the platform. So now that last row is not coming, right? This is not coming because there is no user. So when I'm running this, nothing is getting qualified, right? So this query, uh, sorry. This is for both, right? So this query is giving me only on 1st of July, there is one user, but for 2nd of July, there is no record here because nothing is there. So how I will bring that? So there can be many ways, but one of the easiest ways is what I will do, I will insert a dummy ISO for each spend date. So what I will do, hmm, let me copy one. Okay, so I will do distinct. I need all, for all the spend date, I will insert a dummy, dummy record with platform as both. Okay, user ID is null. This is a dummy record. Okay, and zero as amount. Right, this is nothing for each spend date. I got a dummy record for first and second. No user ID platform both zero. Right now, if I run the query because of this dummy record, it will give me zero for second July also. For this, there is no impact because it is a dummy record. I have put total amount as zero and total users also null. So it will not make impact in the output on the 1st July, but for 2nd of July, we got a record with zero amount. So this is what dummy record we have to insert sometimes in some queries to get the desired output. So there can be other ways. What I will suggest, I will put in the description box that create and insert a statement. Try with some other, other logic also. There can be many logic to solve this. So try yourself. Let me know. Maybe your logic may be easier than this and comment in the description box, uh, in the comment box and do like the video if you like this problem, very interesting problem, I found it. Thanks for watching, do subscribe to the channel, see you later.